everyone, I'm Becky, and I am here to talk to you today about our wonderful Soup Supreme soups and clever ways to use them. So first off, if you've never tried our Soup Supreme soups, why haven't you? They are so wonderful, you're gonna to wanna to add them to your order right now so you can taste just how amazing they are. Soup Supreme really cares about the quality of the products that they use in making their soups. They actually grow all of their vegetables here in the United States and they grow them until they're at the peak of ripeness and quality and then they're picked and within four hours they are processed and ready to go into the various products that they make. So when they put them all together, nothing is pre-cooked. So when you get this frozen soup base, you are cooking it for the very first time. So that makes a huge difference as to the quality and the taste and the look, everything about these soups, they're amazing. Not only is this soup base great for soups, but you can also use it for sauces and dips. And so I wanna talk about two fun dips you can make with two of our great soups that we sell. So the first one we'll, we'll be making is using the Wisconsin style cheese soup. Now I have taken these soups and defrosted, defrosted them overnight so that they will be ready to cook up really quickly. The other sauce that I'm, or dip that I'm going to tell you about uses our creamy tomato basil soup. So again it's defrosted and ready for me to use. Now with these two recipes, it calls for use of a double boiler. Now, some of you might think, a what? I haven't used a double boiler in a long time, but honestly, if you do a lot of baking, there are a lot of recipes that require the use of a double boiler because what a double boiler does that instead of cooking it right over the heat or touching the water that's inside, it's cooking it through the steam. So it's a more subtle way of heating up whatever the product is according to the recipe. So if you do not own a double boiler, you can easily make one with items that you have in your house, which is what I've done today. So you'll want a pan that you're going to be able to put two to three inches. Well, actually you want to put enough water in there to leave about two to three inches from the top of the water to the bottom of the bowl when you put it in. You don't want the water to touch the bottom of the bowl. And then you can use a stainless steel bowl like I have right here. You could use a glass bowl like Pyrex um, because it's going to get very hot. You want to make sure that whatever bowl you use can handle the heat. And then of course you're going to need hot pads to, to deal with it. So basically with double boilers, water in the bottom, you turn it on high, then turn it down once it starts boiling, and then put the other pot on top. And you're trying to create a fairly good seal. It's not 100% by any means, but a good seal so not a lot of steam is escaping so that it's the steam underneath that's heating the bowl to heat the products more slowly and more subtly so that you're not gonna have any scorching or burning. The first dip I want to cover today is using our Wisconsin style cheese soup concentrate and we're going to be making a smoky cheddar dip. I now have my water boiling so now I will turn it down to simmer and I'm going to take my second pan, place it over the top. See how that contains most of that steam so it'll heat it up nice and then we will dump the soup concentrate. Whoa, almost had it all over my floor, didn't I? We're going to dump the soup concentrate into the top part of this double boiler. And then we're going to add two cups of hot water and mix. Now, as this begins to heat up and reaches the desired temperature, you do want to mix it occasionally so that you don't have any scorch spots or parts that get hotter than others so it, it heats evenly, which is limited because of using a double boiler. So we're going to heat this up until it reaches a temperature of 175 to 180 degrees. So I have my thermometer ready to go 
to check that as this begins to reach uh, the heating level that we want it. All right, this is starting to thicken up and it smells so wonderful. This is a really great soup, this Wisconsin style cheese soup. It has very rich cheesy flavors with hints of celery and onion and green peppers. And then they've added chicken and bacon flavoring. So it is just a wonderful um, flavored soup. And as it comes up to, it's almost there at 180 degrees, we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, it is ready to go. And nice and thick, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Let me have you see this. Look how nice and thick and beautiful that looks. This has really thickened up nice. So now what we're going to add to this beautiful dip here is we're going to add 12 ounces of shredded smoky cheese. And that's two packages here. And then we have taken three ounces of our Daly's pre-cooked bacon. I've cooked it up and crumbled it. We're going to add that to it. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. And you're gonna mix it up until the cheese has melted. So it's gonna be so nice and cheesy here. And it is ready. Oh my goodness, this dip is so wonderful and thick and chunky. You are absolutely going to love it. So now, for a festive party or just because you want something a little bit more fancy, we have some new Dunford sourdough bread bowls. Now these come in a case of 24 eight ounce bowls and all you do is let them thaw, warm them up, and serve them. So I warmed my, I thawed my out, warmed it up just a little bit in the microwave, cut off the top, dug out the inside, and it's now ready to fill with this, oh my gosh, this wonderful smoky cheddar dip. Oh, look at the chunks that are of stuff in there. This is gonna be fantastic. And you can dip the pieces of bread that you dug out of the center, or you could uh, use your dips or crackers, whatever you'd like to do. I'm gonna use my vegetables here for my dinner tonight, and oh my gosh, I can't wait to try it. Enjoy. The next dip I want to teach you to make with our creamy tomato basil soup is a pizza dip. So again, I use my double boiler and I put the soup base in it and I add two cups of hot water and then I cook it until the temperature of the sauce comes to between 175 and 180 degrees. So we've reached that point and it's thickened up as it has cooked. So now I'm going to add a 22 ounce jar of pizza sauce. There we go. And mix that in nice and good. Now at this point, you could spoon it into the soup bowls again or just into bowls to serve it and top it with whatever kind of toppings you want like mo shredded mozzarella cheese or sliced olives or even sliced pepperoni. But for me, I like those kind of things in it. And then I'll top it with the mozzarella cheese. So I'm going to add some of our margarita pepperoni that comes in a three pound bag. And as you can see, we love it, it's already half gone. And I've sliced it up into eighths. So I took a couple of handfuls and sliced them up. So we're gonna add that to the dip. And then I took a can of olives and sliced those. So we're gonna add that. And we're gonna mix that all in now. Oh my gosh, this looks, looks wonderful. It smells heavenly. Pizza is one of my family's favorite thing. So uh, this should go over really well. And you know, with the Super Bowl coming up and other reasons to have parties like birthdays and graduations and retirements, you know, there's always a reason to have a party. This is a great dip and so was 
the smoked cheddar dip. Oh my gosh, it was fantastic. So there we go. Oh, that looks beautiful. So I have prepared another soup bowl. And what I have done is I have taken our stone ground French sourdough baguettes. They come in a case of eight 12 inch loaves. So there's four in each bag. These are par baked, so all you have to do is take them out, let them thaw, and then it just, you can bake them, oh, for three to five minutes in about a 350 degree oven to crisp the outside of them. Or I sliced them up and I used our uh, Chef Chamois garlic saute butter. So I covered them with the butter and sprinkled mozzarella cheese on them and stuck them under a low broil until they began to brown. So then we'll take our bread bowl, fill it up with the pizza dip. Oh my goodness, this looks fantastic. What a fun idea for parties or, you know, just if you're in the mood to snack and have a great thing while you're watching a movie or watching uh, any football games or whatever you like. There we go. Doesn't that look great? And we'll top it with some mozzarella cheese. There we go. Perfect. Here you have two wonderful dips made with our Soup Supreme soups. I hope this has given you more ideas on how to use these great concentrated soup bases. Thank you for joining us.